We're back. We're back. We're doing it. <laughs> let's build some Lego that we started a long time ago. Well, let's talk for a while and deal with Hilo because the first 10 to 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> always turn into the Hilo show because he just can't stand to not be the center of attention. Can't. I know. Look at, okay, here's what we're doing. <laughs> you can see everything. Okay, okay, I know. Very exciting being back on camera, I know. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> when did we out? The last time we did this was like May. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then I had to study for my Star Wars schmodown, and you had to study. We and... can blame schmodown on all this stuff. Yeah. We're back and we're ready. Well, you're ready to build. <laughs> I'm ready to chat with you guys. Ready to hang out. And defend myself from Hilo. <sighs> got our drinks. I'm, I don't know if you can see it. I've got a little EA tumbler representing EA. Shill. <laughs> Already it's, spilling on myself. It's already hot in this room. It's so hot. It, well, it's just hot in Georgia. Why can't we turn the fan on? Because it'll be loud. It'll be that loud. Well, no, our fans sound are sound quality above all else. Our fans are quiet. Hilo, no. If it becomes unbearable. <laughs> oh, what are we sipping on? What are we sipping on today? Uh, I've got a local beer from Scofla Brewing Company called a Double Jeopardy IPA. And I've got some chilled white wine because I'm classy. Not many stickers left on this build. That's okay. I'll, I'll live. Um, I believe we had some super chats early uh, yes. Before we even got on the stream. So let me get onto those. Uh, oh, they were both $10 Super Chats from Ted Comment. Thank you, Ted, if you are still in the chat. I, th I think the very first thing he says is that he can't make the stream. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, they said, don't know if I'll be able to make it for the live stream, so I'm going to say my piece now. One, good job during your tournament, Molly. Thank you. Two, do you think Ahsoka talking to Rey means she is dead? I think we've brought this up before, but uh, not necessarily. I mean, I would argue that it is the implication. Sure. But then Dave Filoni comes along and says, well, you never know. And like, I don't know. Everyone else that she talks to in that scene has passed on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this? <laughs> Everyone else in that scene, every Jedi, is dead and gone. So why why does Ahsoka get to chime in? And yeah, I, I I agree. I think that's the implication that she has passed on is one with the Force. Um, but yeah, D Dave Filoni seems to suggest otherwise, but. I'm I'm kind of in the camp of mm, she probably is, I mean she'd be pretty up there in age at that point so it's not crazy to assume that what's their Ooh. put that like arrow facing down you see that I got a sticker okay um what's what's the lifespan like for her species I don't think they've ever established it so I would assume same as human okay. Um, Must concentrate. <laughs> yeah, get it on straight. Oh. oh my gosh, immediately. With two to go, you're it's gonna drop hot. the ball. It's <laughs> hot, it's hot, I can't. I'll turn the fan on, fine. Sorry guys, I need, I need complete silence. It's gonna <laughs> blow the instruction book all over the place. What a mess. All right. Now, <laughs> now that the fan is on, let us know if 
there is a huge sound quality difference. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh. my, my vote is that Ahsoka <clears throat> is probably gone. Yeah. Um, and then his next <laughs> super chat. <laughs> Hilo. You gotta sit. Hilo, can you sit? What a good boy. <laughs> He's gonna abandon that in two seconds. <laughs> his next super chat was non-Star Wars question for Molly. I asked a coworker if she wanted to go out after work, and she said she was busy. <laughs> she didn't actually say no. She was... Was she just rejecting me nicely, or should I try again? Oh, man. Well, I gotta know more context <sighs> for this one. Um, it could go either way. It could be a polite no. Yeah. A polite rejection. Like, See, I, I, f I feel like it's a little rude to just be like, no, I'm busy. I mean, you shouldn't have to give your life away and be like, this is what I'm doing. But you could be like, oh, I'm busy. And maybe, maybe another time. Yeah, like offer a, an alternative date. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you can give me more context, <laughs> I can give you more uh, advice. However, we neither of us have dated for quite some time, so <laughs> That's true. we're we we're out of practice. Um, seems like. No one's saying anything about noise from the fan, so... Whew, thank goodness. <laughs> Fine. I've been over here making a sweat during all the streams. Not today. It's like 95 degrees out with like a billion percent humidity. I think that's all Hilo wants to do is pop up and be like, it's hot. <laughs> and tell everyone that it's hot. He's just like, he's making me hotter because his head is in my lap. <laughs> Oh boy, let me scroll up because I missed everything. Patrick Foley, thank you for the super chat. Just finished the Ahsoka audiobook. Now I really want a Rex audiobook read by D. Brad D. Bradley Baker. That would That'd be, be cool. That would be cool. Well, there's, um, there's an anthology book coming. Yes. And I have to imagine there's a Rex story in there. I don't know. Uh, I We've had it, but I haven't looked at it yet. I, I've been too busy doing other stuff. Schmodown stuff, so I, I have no idea who the stories are. Um, but a Rex one feels appropriate. Yeah. It, it could be just like... Well, not. it couldn't be the Rex Chronicles. That's too close to the... Um, the Calrissian Chronicles. <laughs> yeah. um, well, th there's rumors going around that there's going to be another like Clone Wars spinoff series uh, that would follow Rex, maybe? No, I think it was actually about the Bad Batch. That's mm. the rumor going around. Um, buddy. Buddy. <laughs> I know. Hilo just recently turned one year old. Uh, can you tell <laughs> that he's still a giant baby? He is still a giant baby. Okay, you know what? We're gonna try it. Here we go. No. Oh, he's gonna get a piece. <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. All right. <laughs> should, I, should I kick him out? Well, then he's just gonna go outside where we can't keep an eye on him. Like, he'll he'll calm down. He always does. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, but I wanted to keep talking about Rex. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here comes Pippin. <laughs> uh, yes, I think uh, a book about him. Any continuation on his story would be nice. <laughs> because, I just pretend he's not here. Because I, I think there's a really cool story to be told there about how Rex, what does he do after the Empire? And I think he would probably go to his fellow clones pick up uh, Wolf and Gregor like we know that he does in Star Wars Rebels like how do those interactions go were, they, were those the only two clones he approached did he go to more and some of them turned him down did he ever see Cody again mm -hmm. and maybe Cody was like no I'm with the Empire like every clone would react to this differently I think and despite being clones 
uh, that would be really fun to explore. Yeah. Nope. Uh, let me move this a little bit. Mike Gibb, I, am I, did I say it right that, that, that time? I've always pronounced it uh, Gibb. Gibb, okay. I know I... But I, I might be wrong too. I say it different every time. Uh, Mike says, turn the AC to 68, you guys will be fine. Well, our AC is running its little heart out right now, and it's still hot. The AC here is like 20 years old. It's old. Like, yeah. it, it's never been replaced. It needs to it's probably going to, be replaced. It, it's going to die on us one day. Hilo. Hilo. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get it to my computer desk now. <laughs> um, well, like, I feel like at nighttime we can get it down to 68. Yeah, when the sun's down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, like, I have it set to, like, 70 right now, and it's, like, 77 in here. But half of that is because of the lights and... Your computer puts off a lot uh -huh. of heat. Hilo, you are tearing up my legs. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand. <laughs> you have, you can have my seat. Is that what you wanted? You can kick him out if you want. I'll just stand. <laughs> <laughs> now your head's cut off. Hilo, lay down. That's a good sit, but I said lay down. You lay down? No, he thought about it. <laughs> Hilo, sit. Lay down. Good boy. Stay. Stay. He's going to get right back up. <laughs> Did it. <laughs> uh, Fofo Nablus, thank you for the super chat. Uh, do we think C3PO and AP5 would get along? I don't think so. But it would be in a... They don't seem to really get along with anyone. Yeah. And so it would be very entertaining to watch that. I think they would agree on a lot of, like, technicality type stuff and, like, protocol type stuff. But they would still just not quite get along with each other. All right. That's fair. Hello. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Breezes all over my eyes. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point about the protocol. Uh, I think they would agree on probably a lot of their philosophies on things, but as people, I just don't see them meshing because they don't mesh well with anyone. Like R2-D2 is 3PO's best friend and they're still yelling at each other all the time. Uh, I think that he and AP5 would have a similar relationship. They would probably agree, but still just not like each other. Oh, that was wrong. <laughs> I'm glad people seem to enjoy Hilo's antics. Makes doing these difficult, but we love him. Uh, Red Tornado 98, thank you for the super chat. What next gen console do we plan on getting? Uh, I'm 100% getting a PS5 uh, because I loved the Spider Man game that came out. Um, sorry, I thought I did something wrong on my steps. I loved Spider Man, so I'm really excited to see the Miles Morales sequel uh, or. It sounds like it's going to be kind of like the Uncharted Lost Legacy game, which was like a not full-on AAA title, but like continued the story. And I thought it was still, it was still like 12 hours or so to finish it, which I liked it a lot. So as long as it's something like that, I'm down. Uh, and I'm sure there's, there are going to be other PS5 games that I get a real kick out of. Uh, I don't think Nintendo has anything new on the way, but whenever they do, I love the Switch as well, so I will probably do that. I don't plan on getting an Xbox X. I forget what they're even calling it. Uh, I haven't had an Xbox since the first one, 
I think my friends, enough of my friends had 360s, and that was like in college, so I was able to just bum off of theirs. But I mostly game on PC, and then uh, the PlayStation and the Switch have the most, like, exclusives that I'm interested in. Uh, right? Uh, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> uh, just shoved a bunch of peanut butter and some treats inside of a Kong for him. So. <laughs> That'll keep him busy for two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ted comment came back. Uh, oh, good. <laughs> thank you for another super chat. Says, she laughs at all my jokes, even the bad ones. Can't hear the fan. <laughs> <laughs> good about the fan. Um, that's great that she laughs at the jokes. It's not a bad sign. Yeah. I guess I was thinking that this is like a brand new person, like, and their immediate response was, I'm busy, but I, I, I wouldn't write her off just yet. <laughs> uh, sorry, my phone's blowing up. I gotta <laughs> put it away. It's like, it's Schmodown talk. Yeah, yeah. Um, Caleb Diaz, thank you for the super chat. Uh, you two get a laugh out of the Lucasfilm <laughs> Civil War. What's that? Exactly. It's the the rumors that all those people, all those YouTubers have. The ones that, that like oh, the, everyone's the ones at each other's throats within Lucasfilm and oh, like John Favreau oh. hates Kathleen Kennedy and vice versa and like. So the <laughs> ones that. Hello Greedo was talking about in his video today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh boy. That's It's that's... more just I roll my eyes at it. I mean How do they know what's going on? They don't. Is it their special special source? They're just making stuff up. Who is another random troll on the internet? Yeah. Saying that they're a source. Come on, guys. Leave those leave those people alone. <laughs> Let them well, not like they're being bothered by any of this, but Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> Just everyone be chill. The world is in kind of a crazy place right now. Let's all be chill. I'm gonna make that our next shirt. Let's just all be chill. Star Why Wars can't explained. We all just get along. <laughs> uh, Tanta V4, thank you for the super chat. Have you read Bloodline? And if so, what do you think would have? would have changed if Leia wasn't outed as Vader's daughter and became the first senator, parentheses, chancellor. Hmm. Um, it's been a while that's since... A, that's something I'd not considered, but yeah, she, the, she was up for election to lead the New Republic. Mm -hmm. uh, Things would have been very different, yeah, I think. Yeah, because she... Although there's this other... Th okay, like, this whole butterfly effect, effect thing is happening in my head now, so... In theory, she would have been able to take charge and then fight the First Order more effectively instead of, like, as a guerrilla group because mm -hmm. everyone was writing off Leia as a warmonger and saying, like, oh, no, there's no First Order, the Empire is not coming back, blah, blah, blah. So if she were the Chancellor, she could have changed that. But on the flip side, it's like, I can't remember if she only found out about the First Order because she got outed as Darth Vader. Like... If she had won the election, would she have been able to continue her investigation? But I think she probably would have, even if she hadn't, I think she probably would have kept a better eye on the Imperial Remnant, yeah. on things in general, would have been more aware of any threats happening. So, yeah, I think things would be very different. Hosnian Prime may have not been exploded. <laughs> been exploded. It's the um... technical term. That's still, that's one of the books that I didn't get a chance to read, and it's one of the ones that I really want to eventually read. Some, some of the books come out, and I'm like, pass, <laughs> um, even though I, I should be reading them all. But yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> Bikey says, happy birthday, Hilo. Aww. Well, his birthday was... A month ago. But yeah. Wait. Was it? Oh, two months ago. Man, I don't it was know. a long time when, ago. It was in May. 
I forget it was when still, time is. I remember it was still cool enough at night to where we could make a fire because we did the fire pit outside. We would completely melt if we did that right now. But thank you for the super chat, and we will let him know when he's when he's tired and not going to come back over here and bother us. <laughs> where are we at so far in, in the build? Like, overall? Yeah. Uh, probably two-thirds, three-quarters of the way through it all. Did this... Does this come with a stand? Mm hmm Okay. I was like, wait, do they all come with stands? I forgot. <clears throat> I'm not sure how to say this, but I'm going to try Kunks990. Kunks. That's a funny name. <laughs> Kunks990. Uh, which scale of the A-Wing do you like more? The small, sporty Starfighter or the 10, 10M Longboy? 10 meter Longboy. <laughs> Was that what this is? Wait. I think... What's the 10 meter Longboy? Uh, I think they're talking about like in-universe. Oh. So like smaller or more stretched out. I didn't I... know they were <laughs> different sizes. Uh, I don't think... I would have either if you had asked me. I just assumed. I guess maybe is the RZA2, is it? It oh. might be longer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I tend to prefer, especially for the A-Wing, smaller. Because mm -hmm. I, I love that it's the fastest one and that yeah. they're like, get the astromech slot out of here, get this out of it. Like, this is for speed only. And yeah. I, I really like that about it. Agreed. Um, it's really fun to fly in Battlefront 2 because it's so speedy. Hopefully it'll be fun and even faster in squadrons. Yeah. Uh, Elijah Neal, thank you for the super chat. What's up? What is your favorite era? <laughs> Rude. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rude. Elijah. Rude. Rude to me and everyone who's watching. Uh, What's your favorite era of Star Wars? Also, I loved how you addressed the fake rumor of the sequels being erased in your Q&A video last week. Also, can you name the Knights of Ren? Oh no, Elijah. <laughs> I was like waiting for it. Uh, <laughs> the, well, the, the Q&A thing was Molly's idea. I mean, what, it was the, a joint Oh, the, the walk-off. So I wanted to address it and just say no and then end the video and Molly's like why don't we like also get up and leave and I was like I like that a lot so uh I was like we should just end it and walk away yeah because that's how that's that's how we deal with those rumors we we read them and we walk away yeah basically um so yeah I'm glad you liked that um oh f uh, favorite era of First of all, while you think of the, their names... Right, while well, we're trying to stall here. <laughs> uh, favorite era of Star Wars. Man, after rewatching the movies so many times for Schmodown, I'm going to go <laughs> original trilogy. As much as I love, like, The Force Awakens and Rey, I love them so much, but I don't know, like, just... Something about the original trilogy that just feels the best to me. I feel like that answer for me changes all the time, but right now it's original trilogy. I'm pretty much always original trilogy. I don't think that's ever changed. Like, that's the era I grew up in. Uh, yeah, it, but it's also one of these things where I'm like, but I'm also, let, let's get out of there. We've spent plenty of time here. True, yeah. And, like, it's going to get stale the the longer we stay here because the, the prequels aren't like my favorite era but they built the universe out so much yeah. and i'm ready for that like let's build more instead of do eight more comics in the original trilogy era yeah agreed knights of run uh now i'm afraid that i'm gonna have lost some vicryl trudgeon uh, U Uruk? Mm -hmm. uh, or was it like Ukruk? I think it was Uruk. Uruk. Did I already say Vikral? Uh huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I don't know. I spent all my time doing yeah. inner geekdom stuff now. I can tell you all of the members of the Black Order. There's another <laughs> um, apostrophe one that you should know. Uh, Where's the book? I think it's downstairs. It's over there somewhere. I don't know. Uh, Apolek? Apolek? Ap it's either Apolek or Apolek. That's the apostrophe one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But uh, one of the other ones has an apostrophe, Apolek. too. Knights. Yeah, I uh, don't remember. Ren. <laughs> Names. This is like Molly was doing all the... Although I do need to start prepping up for... Okay, so say the ones that you knew again. Vicryl, Trudgeon, uh, and I named another one. Oh, Uruk. It's... Sorry, it's... Kuruk? Kuruk. Right, I knew it was something off. <laughs> uh, Aplek, now. Aplek is one of them. Okay. Cardo and Ushar. Okay. Ashar. Ashar. Ashur. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But we all know the best. I mean, technically, Ky Kylo Ren is one, too. We all know the best. Trudgeon. Uh -huh. he, he has the best name. I, I agree. That's. I don't know why I've always remembered that one. Trudgeon be Trudgeon. Trudgeon gonna trudge. <laughs> Ted comment, thank you for another super chat. Nice farmer's tan, Alex. Can Thanks. you see his farmer's tan from here? He doesn't have much of a farmer's it's tan. It's, it's, yeah, that. Because we walk Elo in 95 degree weather every day. You might be able to see it better this way. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's that, that tan line. All right, we don't want to throw, show too much. We don't want to get banned. Don't show much too. Don't much show too much too skin. <laughs> this is a Lego building stream, not a let's see Alex's <laughs> tan lines stream. <laughs> uh. do, 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 do. Thank you, Reef Tan, for all the nice things that you said. Uh, we were watching the chat for Alex's IG match, and, and now he's in there uh, moderating, so. Thank you, Reef Tan. Yeah, th thank you for uh, your support in there. It's like, whenever I'm watching my own matches, I want to be in the chat, but it's also like, you kind of want to let this illusion that it's all happening live play out. And if I'm in the chat, obviously that isn't true. Uh, right. So I, I just kept quiet, but saw you in there, and I appreciated <laughs> uh, you singing my praises. Yeah. It was a great match. Um, if you follow Schmodown definitely check it out check out the star wars matches on twitch and they're being released on youtube as well oh yeah your first one is out oh yeah mine mine is out uh my first one yeah is on YouTube, against I mean. adam witt is on youtube so if you just google molly damon schmodown i'll be in there somewhere Oh, I did a good job on that Kong. Yeah, he's still going. Hopefully that wears him out. <laughs> Fares... Fares yeah. Muthana. Thank you for the super chat. There's no comment there. I will look and see if there's a comment in the chat, but... Um, thank you for your support. I wish this was in Streamlabs so that I could like highlight things. Streamyard. Or, yeah. Streamyard. Um, uh, I'm sure there's a way we can figure that out. Uh, we, we signed up for Streamyard because mm -hmm. we really like the simplicity of some of that and more for not streams like this, but streams with other people and like friends. Uh, it's really easy to get them to just hop on and we can stream together. So, uh, Look forward to more stuff like what we did with Ace Cabrera and RB3 in the near future. Yeah. But hopefully live as we continue to figure it out. Ted, comment. Thank you again. Uh, 
I hope they release a joystick for Star Wars Squadrons. So let's talk about Squadrons. Um, first, I was going to say, like, we just... Uh, I, I borrowed uh, a joystick from a friend. Not that I'm going to need it for a while, but he was like... We were talking about Squadrons, and he was like, I have one if you want to use it. It is, like... It's serious business. It's a, like, it's like a full-on flight simulator. It's, it's got all pieces. these switches on it. Yeah, it's two pieces, and the joystick has, like, eight buttons on it, and then the throttle has, like, eight. But then there's also, yeah, just switches, and you can remap any of them to anything else. And I'm like, this is intense. And, yeah, it would be cool if they if they could just release a joystick for PC or for PS5 or 4 and be like, here's how. Like, it's, it's already mapped out for you. <laughs> I, I would probably go in on that. Did you see that they're selling... They're gonna sell like a helmet, a, a pilot helmet with a microphone in it set. Like, so you can chat. Yeah, it'll be like your micro, your headset. Because I was. But it's a helmet. Genuinely, earlier today, I was like, I bet I could get a headset. And like, because <laughs> these are just, this is just headphones in here, so I uh -huh. can rip these out, put in, like headphones, and then have the electronics running up here. Like I was thinking about how I could mod this myself yeah, these are just on with velcro right so i could just redo it but if they're gonna make one i think they i think they're making one um well shoot <laughs> it's i don't know how much it is i'm sh i'm sure it's expensive but uh what was i gonna say oh for this this has nothing to do with like an actual physical joystick but i kind of hope for the tie fighter can you can you fly in the Thai? Which one does Vader fly in? Advanced. Can you fly if Thai? Oh. Nope. I don't know if the regular Tie fighters have this, but whatever that little thing is that he's constantly Those little knobs. the little knob that he's constantly <laughs> form up on me. Uh, I'm on the leader. <laughs> messing with what? In in a New Hope, like what? I want to know what that is. Well, they're supposed to have like a hardcore mode, which. The more I read about it, I think what that really means is we're taking off all of the UI. They're getting rid of any, like, custom paint jobs and stuff. So, like, if you just want to play and have everything be as close to the movies as possible, you can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it turns it into a full-on flight sim, kind of like we thought, where it's like, yeah, you have to flick every little switch and do all this minute stuff to turn your X-Wing on. Yeah. Uh, Ricardo Franco, thank you for the super chat. They say, "What's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everything's good. Y'all's schmodowns have been getting me through COVID. <laughs> Just watched Alex's IG, so good. I liked the Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> um, thank you. I don't you. think anyone else. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, for, well, thank you for the super chat. Thank you about the schmodown. It's also been getting us through COVID because we've been able to keep our brains busy studying and watching movies yeah it's given us something to do and something to talk about and it's it's helping a lot of people and it's <laughs> been really really great and alex's hawaiian shirt is uh it was a shirt that you could buy at celebration chicago and it's based off of i'm the, sure ricardo knows this yeah well if, if in case anyone else <laughs> doesn't know it's based off of the shirt that Lando wears uh -huh. in the very end of Solo. I had Mark and uh, Roxy complimented me on my shirt, and I was like, <laughs> I don't think either of them know what this is. I was hoping to get like some nerd cred from it. Well, it's such a great shirt. I love it. Because it doesn't have anything super Star Wars-y on it. You wouldn't be able to tell. And like you've said before, your favorite Star I Wars shirts kind of stuff. are the like less loud ones i guess S subtle subtle nerd stuff yeah things that are like that goes for decor too stuff that just looks nice mm -hmm. but you know i know i know what we that all, is we all know oh man keep getting the squirrely thing i think the touchpad on my laptop is going out Did I 
doing. I ha I'll just keep. I, I have really been enjoying doing IG matches. Uh, I've been enjoying watching movies that aren't Star Wars. Can you believe it? Right. Well, when you do nothing but that for like a month straight <laughs> to study for your own matches. Oh man, I, was, I won't give away too many of my secrets, but every day there was something to watch, and yeah. I was. And and read, watch and read because you got to do it with subtitles. Yeah. And now I'm gonna have to start getting back to it now that the tournament's over and I I know about when I compete next. Oh, Star Wars. Uh huh. Yeah. Still studying IG though. Yep. I'm I'm gonna have to do both. Yeah. Oh, I see. Adam Went was in the chat. This was oh. this was a little while ago, I think, but. If he's still here. Hey, if you're still here, Adam. <laughs> yes. What's up, Adam? Still hoping for Best Promo of the Year award. I think you guys have a solid chance for that. Yeah. Dr. Mofongo, thank you for the super chat. Uh, with The Mandalorian taking place five years after Return of the Jedi, and the last episode mentioning the Jedi and the search for force users, do we see Luke Skywalker? I hope not. I don't think we will. I don't think so either, and I'm more, I'm just like, okay, we already know. Well, we don't. It's rumored that we're getting Ahsoka and Bo-Katan and Boba Fett and maybe Rex, and I've heard about, like, Sabine rumors, and I'm excited for all that, but I'm also, like, I really liked that, that the first season was like its own thing, and I don't want it to turn into not that. So, yeah, pulling in one of the main characters, even though I'm like, they could probably do it convincingly, like if they had Mark Hamill, and they, we've seen that Marvel, well, ILM, can do these de-aging things. Yeah. Like, I think they could pull it off convincingly and i'd probably be like wow that's amazing but <laughs> i i that's not my inclination i yeah i don't i don't think we will and i'm i'm kind of on the same page in the i hope we don't just because like we don't need that that distraction like we've we've gotten all we need is baby yoda well yeah that's true i think john lennon said that i <laughs> i found a baby yoda reusable bag at Publix today and it was the last one they had and I snatched it up and I was like highlight of our week <laughs> yay it was the best oh um I man I'm so excited for Mandalorian to come back and for a trailer that we might get at some point <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see when this stuff drops now, because it's like, mm -hmm. it would have been in a month and a half or so when Celebration started, and that's when we were probably going to get all these announcements. Yeah. Are they still going to save it for that weekend? Are we, we going to get more of a trickle? I don't know. We we need one of those sources. <laughs> yeah, we need that one everyone's... of those sources that everyone's always clamoring about. How do you get one of those Star Wars sources <laughs> that emails you all the secrets? About the Civil Wars. Charlie McKay, thank you for the super chat. Did you play the canon game Star Wars Uprising? Uh, I did not. That was a mobile game, and I think it's been discontinued now. Kilo. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> okay, you want to say hi? Somebody finished his Just calm. checking in, just checking in, seeing if there's anything to eat. <laughs> um, no, I didn't play it. I have read through the story, and it's like I know enough to recognize. <laughs> oh. I know enough to recognize when, like, Governor Adelhard gets brought up in the um, the Iron Blockade. But, Governor who? Yeah. He, he was, like, the villain of Star Wars Uprising. <laughs> but no, I never did get a chance to play it. And I'm just not a very big mobile gamer in general. Yeah. I don't have enough time to play, like, the PC games I want to play. Right. Any any free time, I'm I'm still... I'm not playing it as much, but I'm still playing Animal Crossing, even though Alex has completely left left me to my own. Well, you let Sprocket move away, so my best friend is gone. There's two other ones just like him. 
Uh-uh. They say the They're not robot <laughs> ducks. How dare you? Okay, we don't need to get into that. <laughs> but we'll talk about this later. You've abandoned the island, and it's just me watering all those plants. Sorry. <laughs> Can't believe it. We were bonding so well over that game. And Alex just was like, oh, Last of Us 2 is out. I had The Last of Us 2 and Half-Life Alex to, to get through. <laughs> Cameron Taylor, thank you for the super chat. Which film had the best Journey to tie-in material? Mm. Mm. That's a good question. Um, let's see, we had... Give me some examples. Cause... So for The Force Awakens, we had Aftermath. Uh, Shattered Empire. I like Shattered Empire a lot. Uh, the Before the Awakening book. Those are the big releases, I think. Uh, the Last Jedi had Phasma. The Phasma comic, which was also great. Then I'll say Phasma. Because uh, <laughs> that, that's just one of my favorite books. But The Rise of Skywalker had uh, Resistance Reborn, Ow. which... Oh, yeah, that one was good, too. That was a really, that was a really good book that pulled in so many elements from like the entire Star Wars canon from that point. So And we got Wedge. I really I really liked that book. But I think Phasma between yeah, that book and the comic, which together they worked really well. Uh I do think The Last Jedi, although The Last Jedi really like disappointed me with Phasma's story. Yeah. I, it was making me think, like, oh, man, she's coming in and she's going to, like, ruin everybody's day. Uh, and then she was in, like, two scenes. Yeah. Um, was that also when we had the, the Legends of Luke Skywalker or whatever book? Yes, it was. That one was pretty cool, too. Did he get some to chew on? No, he's eating my chair. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how many people are watching, but hello, everyone. Lots of people saying hi. Uh, Olioscar2000, thank you for the super chat. How canon can we consider... He hero? Oh, hero. <laughs> I thought this was the name of a character. Hero banter. <laughs> yeah, hero banter. He's, he's from Tatooine. He's just like one of those random Imperial officers, right? <laughs> uh, let me start over. How canon can we consider hero banter in Battlefront 2? Example, Palpatine will sometimes say, such a sad story, the Calrissians, or Anakin saying he's a great singer? Uh, Is that true? I haven't heard, like, I do, someone, uh, let me go get that. <laughs> Hilo is just going to town on all of the stuff on the floor right now. I mean, knowing how much thought I, goes into... I feel like such a sad story that Calrissians uh, is canon. Well, I, I think... But that's really interesting. I, I don't think Lucasfilm would let anything through that... We know how seriously they take this stuff, mm -hmm. and I, I don't think that they would let just some weird thing for just a joke go in, like Anakin saying he's a great singer. Yeah. I mean, it is a joke. That probably more means that they don't think it matters. Like, Anakin's singing ability probably isn't going to come up in a future story, so sure, you can say he's a great singer. Uh, so yeah, I would say that anything that shows up in that game consider it true but if in the future there is a story where anakin's a terrible singer you can either chalk that up to uh him being way overconfident in his abilities or uh the the game was overwritten yeah <laughs> i i agree i think i i didn't even know about that palpatine line i i like that that's an interesting little tidbit. Hilo, I swear. <laughs> See, the thing is, if we kick him out of the room, then he's just got the whole house to roam and find something to eat and chew up and destroy. Yep. He's destroyed our remote controls, several pairs of sunglasses, several um, expensive wireless 
uh, earbuds. <laughs> and just normal earbuds. And regular earbuds. Oh, Jake Berlin, thanks, <laughs> thanks for the super chat. Uh, he says... I feel like I will not be able to get the full experience of squadrons unless I have a pilot helmet on and a joystick to fly with. Hashtag snob. <laughs> I, well, I've been thinking about playing with my helmet, but I know the visor will get in the way. Hmm. Uh, but the joystick, I definitely want to play with. Like, I feel like that's the way to do it. Yes. A controller, I'm sure, is going to work great, but for something like this, <laughs> I want a joystick, and that's why I'm... I'm gonna test out my buddies. Yeah. By the way, fans of the Schmodown, you guys should check out a uh, certain point of view. That's Jake's uh, YouTube channel, and they do breakdowns and discussions about all the Schmodown stuff. Um, it's a good show. <laughs> Hilo, please. Sticker time. Last one. Same. Same as last one. Okay. Yeah, I was on their show last night talking about the last... Um, that last Star Wars match was bonkers. Super bonkers. Can you still watch them on Twitch? Yeah, they should still be up. Boom. First try. I'm impressed. <laughs> Took you a second. I'm gonna be fair <laughs> with my judgment. Ow, Hilo. Oh my gosh, goodness, this uh, this YouTube name. I don't know what to say. Uh, Ing Ingolds Matt, a.k.a. Floof, watching Star Wars Explained play Lego Star Wars 3. He's, <laughs> he, uh, we still need to play that. Yeah, we, we do. We're getting back into our streaming schedule because I really liked doing it. We fell apart because of uh, studying for... Two people studying for... <laughs> Two different Schmodown tournaments at the same time right. was a lot. And we've, fi we've figured out how to streamline it to just one now, and we've, we've got some extra time. Um, well, thank you for the super chat, first of all. They say, I watched the original trilogy recently for the first time. Oh, wow. And why does Vader always have his hands on his hips? Well, because he's sassy. He's a and sassy man. We can't see his mouth move, and he's got to... Make sure people know. He's got an attitude. <laughs> yeah, I do that too. But uh, it's like I mean that's kind of the default position I take when he lied down, so I don't want to even say his name. But when the dog does something uh, <laughs> that I don't approve of, that's that's the look I get. Yeah. So that's just he is probably talking to every imperial officer like they're his dogs. Probably, yeah. That. That and the finger pointing. Uh -huh. Same thing. Don't you do that. Yes. Don't you do that. You look at me. <laughs> I don't think Vader's ever pointed at himself and been like, you look at me in the, right in the helmet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, the trilogy. Yeah, that's, that's crazy and exciting. Yeah. <clears throat> How we doing? Oh, that was the last sticker. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm done. Well, the fan is blowing the instruction booklet all over the place, but I guess it's worth it. Here. <laughs> My goodness. What a drama queen. I need to turn that page. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb Diaz, thank you for the super chat. When I work again, I'm gonna join at the Jedi Council level. Uh, oh. Would be, oh, would be money worth every cent. How'd you like Last of Us Part Two? Uh, Caleb, I hope that you get to work again yeah. safely soon. Uh, COVID is insane right now and people are having to go back to work or maybe losing their jobs, maybe having to get new jobs. It's, it's crazy. Um, but that's very generous of you. Thank you for yes, saying thank that. Thank you, Caleb. How... I, I appreciate seeing your, your good and thoughtful questions every week. Oh yeah. We, we answer a ton of Caleb's questions <laughs> on the Q and A's. <clears throat> um, how did we like last of us part two? Um, 
So much so that I'm going to do a video on it. I've already done a video on it. It's going to come out next week. <laughs> I, I, Spoilers. Yeah. I flimsily tie Star Wars into it. It's still a Star Wars video, but uh, yeah, I really, really loved it. Uh, I know it's a controversial thing online, but what isn't these days? I, I, I thought it was awesome. I don't understand the controversy behind it, but... I mean, I honestly do think it's similar to uh, The Last Jedi, I guess, where it, it does, it makes some decisions that I was like, whoa, that's where we're going with this? Okay, yeah, um, that makes sense. And I, I think that people were upset by that. Uh, and, and that's just having some separation from The Last of Us fandom, where I'm like, man, I really loved that first game. I've played it three times, three or four times. Uh, it is one of my favorite games ever, but it's not something I think about every single day. So I basically went into this with no expectations, and I was still surprised by the choices, but I wasn't, like, upset by any of them. I was just like, wow, this is what we're doing. Okay, let's buckle up and do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, as a watcher, a video game watcher... <laughs> I, the only games that I play are like Animal Crossing and then Star Wars games on occasion. Um, but I enjoyed watching it and games like this because they're so they can be so cinematic and entertaining. I will say it's very violent. That's true. And you know, violence in video games typically doesn't bother me that much, but there's just a lot of it. It's a lot. It's a game you, like, I had to take some breaks from it and be like, all right, that was enough of that. Yeah, just, I mean, sitting there having to listen to a big shootout over and over because you kept dying. Excuse you. <laughs> uh, that can get a little tough. And even though... Alex did not kill any dogs. I was gonna, that's why it took so long, and I had to keep repeating things. He, he, that's part of the reason. You can do. You can play through this whole, entire game without killing a single dog, and he did that. So, congrats to you for doing that. Because if if you have to do that, I'm just like, no, no, I'm not on board. That's fair, and I wasn't either. But I love the storylines of both Abby and Ellie. Ellie. I'm like, I can't remember their Ellie's names. Ellie's the main character. I know. <laughs> um, I love that Abby is jacked. She is my new role model. Her and uh, Gina Carano. Well, that's, I, I love like... that people are going on about like, how, how can she be so jacked? Like, where, where does she get protein in, in the in the apocalypse, which... Did you see that, Jim? Well, yeah, you... like, A, they basically explain it with context clues, but B, if she were just a dude, I mean, like, look at the Gears of War series, <laughs> and, like, they're comically huge. Does does anyone ever question, like, well, where does Marcus Phoenix get his protein? Like, what? <laughs> no! Because it doesn't matter, it's a game. I mean, but... You did point out that, like, they're, like, uh... Yeah, they have... Their well, home I mean, their home base there, is, there's like... There's a farm. There's... I don't want to get too into this game. Oh, okay. Yeah, spoilers. But, yeah. But, uh, they had access to plenty of meat and a full gym. I will say that. <laughs> so... It's explained well so, enough. Yeah. That if you had that question and actually like cared about the answer you'd be like oh there's the answer but most people just want to be mad they want they want women that are super attractive and have long flowy hair and other attributes um <laughs> that's just how it, that's how it is not not all men um moving on <laughs> On the brain, thank you for the super chat. What was the original plan to save Palpatine in episode three? Was Sheev going to sit on Anakin's lap <laughs> on the ride back? 
good question. <laughs> I think that that was a very uh, Indiana Jones style plan in that they didn't have one and they were making it up as they went. Yeah. Although, same, like, it does... Same as, same as Han. Right. <laughs> uh, it's just... It's a Harrison Ford plan, we'll say that. Yeah, yeah. But they did kind of seem like they were expecting to be captured, so maybe their plan was to take the bridge of the ship. Uh, and Obi-Wan even says, like, it's time to spring the trap, so... Right, yeah. I, I think maybe it was in the cards for them to get captured but you know like if they made it back to the hangar sure anakin and palpatine are buddy buddy and I, palpatine would just be like oh more time for me to like whisper in his ear literally uh, that, <laughs> but, i don't mean like in a yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I do mean in a creepy way but not like that kind of creepy i get it <laughs> i my first thought was like yeah if they had to go back in the same little tiny ship and Palpatine had to sit on his lap. Would he would he let Palpatine steer and but he would do all the controls? Yeah. So Palpatine. You're doing it, buddy. Like, Wee I'm <laughs> flying. I assume other kids did that when they were little. They sat in some someone's lap and they drove and Yeah, they drove. You got to do the steering wheel. Good times, good times. Ricardo Franco, thank you for another super chat. Are you guys going to pick up the collector's edition of Pod Racers? I'd rather own it digitally, but the pewter N64 cartridge is enticing. I didn't know that there was a collector's edition. Yeah, the, I forget what they're called. It's like a group of people that are releasing like physical copies of games again but only for certain games they did it for shadows of the empire they did it for like some of the old super star wars games including the game boy versions which those i was tempted to get i i have super nostalgia for uh those the game boy games i i was a big game boy kid growing up so uh now i'm probably just gonna go digital with pod racer i haven't even bought it yet which i'm i know i'm going to but i haven't so yeah yeah i i've never played it and i am excited to oh so. yeah like okay we need to get it and <laughs> i i still love your idea of making that a vr game yeah just to be like I, I would i always think of that i love that gif of thor when he's strapped to the chair just screaming like that's what i would be like because yeah. it's too fast i would be like You'd have your two controllers like Anakin does, but I would just be hitting everything. And then when you lose one engine and you just start spinning, <laughs> like Vomit City. Vomit City. <laughs> uh, oh, Ted Comment, thank you for another super chat. Have you hit the wall in The Last of Us 2 yet? Uh, well, I've beaten it. What's is is there a wall I, or I is that like a metaphor? I think he means so, in like, back when I was a cross country runner, like the wall is like this mental break mm -hmm. that you have where you're like I can't do this. Back thing. when you were an athlete. Uh huh. Right, and then you have to like break through that, and keep going, and so, I, I'm trying to think if there was a wall, and I don't. know, I kind of feel like I I hit that in most games now the last of us 2 was very long and i basically played through the last 12 hours of it this past sunday yeah i i still i'm kind of bummed it that we're done with it because i was enjoying watching it but we should have done it in smaller segments well that's what i was trying to do partially because we just didn't have time like we would <laughs> we would play it until it felt like we ended a chapter like, there was a big cutscene. We're like, okay, that's a good stopping point. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I was just like, I started to see people tweeting about it more and more freely. And I was like, I need to beat this game so I don't get spoiled. Uh, so I just sat down all day Sunday and finished it. Which it was very nice of you to let me have the TV for a whole a whole half of the weekend. It was, it, that was one of the laziest days we've had in a while. <laughs> we just sat, I was on my phone. We did nothing but that. I was stressed out the whole day. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, I do feel like I hit these points for most games now where I'm like, okay, I'm kind of ready for this to be over. Half-Life Alex was 
the same. Mm-hmm. I was like, I really like this. Half-Life Alex is the coolest VR game I have ever played. It makes you feel awesome 100% of the time. And I was still like, I'm tired of wearing this headset. <laughs> like, let's go. Okay, so I, I checked. There's 200 people watching. I'm going to start doing what the Schmodown guys do. They, <sighs> they look and see how many people are watching. And they go like, why aren't there 200 and... Five likes. Why aren't there two hundred and five <laughs> likes? If you if you haven't liked this video yet, please like it. If not, that's okay too. Well, they just jumped up, so I mean, there's <laughs> that. <laughs> hit that like button, hit that thumbs up. It helps us, but it does. In I don't a, think in I a think. magical YouTube way. We don't really know how. I think it just is. That's on YouTube's end. I don't think I will ever be able to like unironically say hit that like button yeah it's just it's so stereotypical youtuber that like i mean you are right we should say it more often but i'm like smash that like button smash that like button (laughs) subscribe Uh, and like or don't it's up to (laughs) you i'm not your boss (laughs) i'm not your real dad (laughs) but yes more more likes always helps us out on live streams and on regular videos. So even if you click on a video and you're like, this is boring, (laughs) give it a like anyways. (laughs) Who would do that? What what videos of ours are boring? I'm not saying that. I'm just like, if they were to think the animals of, (laughs) cause she might be a little bit boring. I put a fart joke in that. (laughs) How dare you? (laughs) That's true. (laughs) I forgot. (laughs) Uh oh, I gave you the giggles. Go watch the Animals of Kashyyyk video because the fart joke is in it and it's funny and it's in like the first two minutes. So give it a like, ju- a like just for that and comment uh, hashtag more fart jokes <laughs> for that video. Chad Stilson, thank you for the super chat. With the return of the Jedi version of, from a certain point of view, probably in the works, whose story would you like to have in the book? Oh, okay, so we're really, ass- really jumping ahead. Yeah, assuming we're gonna get keep getting. Yeah, we just certain did, point of view. We just did forty stories for Empire. What we would want to hear. Um, uh, Moff Jarrod. I mean, I just started going chronologically in my head. Mm-hmm. So Moff Jarrod makes sense to me. Piet, for me, just like a continuation of his sure. story, basically. I, I would want to know what's going on in his head. Um, maybe Iden Versio. Like, she... Ooh, yeah, now I'm like trying to think a little outside of the box of like new characters that we know exist that we didn't know back then. Mm. Uh, and Iden Versio we know was on Endor. So maybe like what she was doing before, right before the game starts. Um, I'm sure, like, low gray, like a... You know who I want? Pop Lou. 8D8. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, he's the, he's the, the torture droid. I want to know what he's thinking. <laughs> I I have always wondered. Why is he torturing that gonk what droid? What did that gonk droid do? Poor little guy. I have always wondered that. I will admit. Um, I, and like, yeah, Bib, Fortuna, Ula, Lin Do me. not say Lin Me. Lin I me. knew you were gonna say it. <laughs> All right, fair is fair. Who's the? You're gonna, if you're what? gonna roast one person, roast us all. Yeah. Um, what's one for me then? For my, a risk for myself. Uh, that would have to be, I guess, the ship in Empire. It'd oh have to yeah. Be, whoever. Have to be the redemption. Whoever is. Two one B on the redemption. I don't know. Yeah. Whoever's in charge Maybe we'd have of to the. Jump back to Empire for that. The redemption medical free it. Their story would be the little twist of the knife for me. Um, is there another 
guy there with Akbar. It's like his second or first mate on the there, ship. There are a couple of uh, the same way Radis has a handful of. Yeah. <laughs> I almost called him Akbars. A handful <laughs> of Mon Calamari. <laughs> Welcome to Star Wars Explained. <laughs> you see them Akbars? <laughs> um. Yeah, maybe maybe Akbar's first mate gets a story about what it's like working with him. And Th- those guys have turned in into battle. kind of a joke because you can just watch them in the background doing nothing, yeah. trying to look very busy. <laughs> yeah, that's a it's a good one to think about. I hope that they do one of those books for all the movies eventually. Matthew Lang, thank you for the super chat. When you're done, please throw the A-Wing at the Lego Star Destroyer <laughs> bridge for that Return of the Jedi experience. Absolutely not. But it would I mean, be funny. <laughs> videos that are like, I destroyed my so-and-so, all for the views. Sweet. Like, they usually do well. But I'm not doing that. That took forever. <laughs> that would be so sad. Oh. That, that's a funny idea, though. It is hilarious. It's it's a little too big. Do we have a smaller A wing we could throw at it? I think it's pretty tough. It could take it could take a hit. Also, we don't have a super star destroyer, so it's technically not correct anyway. All right. Well. My nose is starting to stuff up, so it makes the nerd voice, the pedantic <laughs> nerd voice, easier. Uh. <clears throat> Ted comment. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, yeah. And uh, for another super chat, Vader's hands are on his belt because it's not very tight and he doesn't want to be compared to a Ken doll. <laughs> Aww. That might be the case. Maybe he's still still not used to the suit and he's like, I don't know about all and He's the... just afraid his legs are going to fall off. <laughs> his robot legs. He's like... Just gonna hold him here. Yeah, uh, like, what if, what if the emperor's just been messing with him this whole time? And I mean, his suit does kind of mess with him because the emperor really doesn't. That that was a legends thing, but I like to still think it's true. Maybe the emperor pantsed him a few times, and he's <laughs> and he's uh, self conscious. Okay, they are. Oh, okay. I, I remember now. It's you no longer get to tease me about this, and then oh, it became he shortened it. Okay, and then it became floof, and now it's you no longer get to tease me about this, aka floof. Watching Star Wars Explained play Lego Star Wars Three, which we haven't started yet, but we will. I promise, it's still on our plate. <laughs> um, they said they watched the sequel trilogy first, then the prequel trilogy in reverse order and then the original trilogy interesting <laughs> how was that <laughs> yeah uh. I, that's it, it's always going to be interesting for future generations uh, what what star wars movies they see first and then what how that affects their opinions like the complete opposite of how I would ever recommend someone do that but I'm still like huh interested to hear how that worked out that's that's a machete order right there <laughs> that's beyond machete I don't <laughs> yeah I don't know what to call it that's, that's the suicide order well, I guess it's reverse order wait no it's not reverse order because you didn't watch 987 you watched 789 that yeah that's the most machete I've ever heard <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, Ricardo Franco, thank you for another super chat. They said that they loved The Last of Us 2. It annoyed me that 90% of the criticism was bad faith. Uh, it's the same kind of thing that like you hear Last Jedi. Like It's not an actual... They're making up better excuses to hate on the game than their real ones. It's uh, just thinly veiled. Mm, yeah. I, I, I agree. I, 
haven't seen a lot of the criticism, so I don't know. I haven't either. It's like, that's not my fandom. Not my job. <laughs> <I'm> just <laughs> not gonna stay out of it. But there's Even another... though I'm going to do a video on it next week, and then I guess it, like, I'm <laughs> entering into all of it. Well, now that you're in inner geekdom, you can't say that. But I was thinking that would be another per cool uh, t-shirt idea. Not my fandom, not my job. <laughs> um, they also said, also, how did you not kill any dogs? I tried and tried and failed. Uh, I kept restarting. <laughs> like, it, I genuinely would just continue restarting uh, missions or encounters because once a dog attacked me I was like well I would keep running sometimes you can lose them you can lose the scent uh, but there were some of those encounters that I had to do a handful of times yeah. I will there is the game makes you uh, kill one you have to unfortunately but wait in, I think you were out of the room when that happened. In two? It was a kind of cutscene. I don't think I don't think you were watching, and I was going to keep it from you, but. Oh no! Now it's neat. now I have to go online and make I'll angry. I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> now, now you hate the game. Now I hate it. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, if it's, a, see, if it's in a cutscene... That's a much better... Like, honestly, if someone were like, I don't like The Last of Us 2 because of the dog stuff, I'd be like, I get it. Yeah. Um, but you do have to kill a lot of animals in... That's true. In, uh, Fallen Order. Fallen Order. Ken brought that up. Oh, speaking of Ken, any fans of Ken Napsok out there, which you all should be, um, Force Center is doing, like, a show-and-tell video series with like toys and stuff and we're going to be on that tomorrow morning or afternoon depending on where and when you live <laughs> uh yeah what, what's I, what? I did something wrong oh i see is that on I got it. is that on twitch or youtube it's or? on uh, the force center youtube okay so yeah ken oh, napsock force center youtube channel tomorrow we will be on discussing our favorite memorabilia slash toy items that we have and why. Just what a mess. What have you done? I messed it up. What have I done? Ted comment still hanging out <laughs> in the chat. Thank you for the super chat. If slash when you have a kid, which order will you show them Star Wars? Um, the I'm always gonna I say don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm always gonna say release order. Yeah, because like the the Vader reveal for me was so much fun. Like I wouldn't want the prequels to take that away. But that that's gonna be interesting for like the more Star Wars that exists for kids when they're young. Like right now, it's very generational and. You grew up with, like, the originals or the prequels or the Clone Wars or the mm -hmm. sequels. But in the future, kids are just going to know Star Wars. And that's it. Like, And they're going to be the super... The best of the best hopefully fans. Hopefully they will save us all. Yeah. They're, gonna, they're not going to have angry videos about why this character sucked. And <laughs> I don't know. They, they probably still will. Um... Yeah, I, I, I've, I've always told people release order is probably the best. And also just to appreciate how it evolved over time, what it was like in the 70s and 80s, and then early 90s, 2000s, and now the sequel trilogy. It's just interesting to see how different aspects of the story evolve. Oh, I lost my place again. Do you need a tissue? Uh. <laughs> do you need to I go blow your nose? I, I do have the sniffles. Mm. What is going on here? Mike Gibb, thank you for another super chat. Can Jedi have a one night stand <laughs> since there is now attachment? Uh, no attachment. I think you probably meant 
Oh, no, atta- no attachment. So, Rail Avaros did it in uh, yeah. Master and Apprentice. Yeah, read, read Master and Apprentice for some uh, not so not so conventional Jedi, Jedi ways. Jedi masterness. Yeah, and if you listen to the audiobook, like Ken was saying uh, in one of your streams, I heard him talking about it, but it was, he has like a really thick southern drawl to his voice and it's just it's it's interesting and very different for the jedi but other than him i don't see the jedi having one night stands it's not the jedi way oh what have you done i just am not i don't know i don't know anymore no i did do that right what's going on (laughs) <laughs> oh my god go blow your nose right, right now i don't need that sound to be picked up on the microphone alex's nose just made a sound that gave me the creeps uh ricardo franco thank you so much for the generous super chats um was the ken hannah drama part of the show or was that like a legit air on air falling out so this is in regards to the Inner Geekdom trivia match that just happened today or came out today. Um, I don't want to give out too much information about Schmodown drama, whether or not it's real, because that's part of the fun of the Schmodown is you may or may not know if the drama is real. And I, I don't know, Brandon Hanna has a lot of people mad and up in arms because of how he's been acting so ricardo was asking if the the ken hannah drama was real and i said i didn't want to give away anything to mask the mystery um unmask the mystery like i never know i also don't know what to say about stuff like that but like this isn't I think we're allowed to say because I never want people to think that I'll just say it and then you won't get in trouble and I will <laughs> Brandon Hanna's a great person like he's a villain yes but he treated me with nothing but respect like outside of promos and the stuff with Ken was like yeah it, it, it's part of the show and part of the story and the drama of it all uh but yeah, I would never want anyone to think that anyone in the Schmodown is actually as much of a jerk as they act. <laughs> like, uh, sometimes I'll yeah, have Yeah, obviously match. Hannah's not like that in person. Except for Adam Witt. Adam Witt, man. Do you see his question? I just saw that he was still in chat, so I was... <laughs> no, he's, like, he's genuinely... He's in here testing us. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't. Oh, I didn't see his question. Oh. I just saw that he was still in chat. Yeah. And I was going to throw him some shade. But no, like, everyone in the Schmodown is a great person. <laughs> and Everyone, and, like, Rachel put out a tweet today that uh, spells it out perfectly. Everyone works so dang hard. Like, the amount of studying that people do to play a, any game let alone a perfect game, not missing a single question. Like, the amount of studying that you have to do to do that is insane. And I know because I did it for (laughs) however long, over a month, two months, I don't know. I I think these instructions are actually wrong. What? (laughs) Do we need to call Lego? I'm going to write a letter is what I'm going to do. Uh, oh, okay, so Adam Witt, thank you so much for the super <laughs> chat. What is the name of the A-win- A-Wing pilot that crashes into the Executor? Do you know? I, I've already forgotten everything about <laughs> Star Wars. It's Arvel Crinid. Yeah. Green leader. I know, we, I know we talked about that one, and if I were freshly studied up, I might have known that, but I'm just going to... I don't blame you for... Letting some stuff fall out of my head. Just uh, just yeah. let it go for a minute. If it's not like, 
I don't want to get into it. <laughs> but that is a that's a great question. And he he I do know it's Green Leader, and if it's like a squadron leader, then yeah, you probably should know their name. It's that that's one of the things. But who's Red Eleven? In in the Battle of Endor or Yavin? Uh, either way, I don't know the answer. Either one, exactly. <laughs> you barely hear that that call sign, and we're expected to know that person's name. That that's one of those things that yeah, we like. I've always known Arvel Crinid, but I've always been like, they're not going to ask this, and now I'm like, oh, they might ask this. <laughs> Well, now it's coming down to whether or not they had a toy. Yeah. Did did Ar Arvel Krennid have a toy? I don't think so. Mm. I didn't have his action figure. Was the medical frigate a toy? Probably not. I know the the droid control ship probably was. It was. I know it was a Lego set. Anyways, <laughs> we're we're getting way off subject. Uh oh, floof is what I'm going to call this person from now on. It says, power went out, can we? Can you repeat? Would we, let me scroll up. Um, we definitely mentioned that we're going to play Lego Star Wars. There it is. Oh, oh yeah. About the order in which they watched the films. So sequel trilogy first, then the prequel trilogy in reverse order, and then the, uh, the original trilogy. Yeah, we just talked about how insane of a, a way to watch the movies that is but watch them in however way you want there's no wrong way but there is a confusing way I may have lost a sticker how? I don't know uh, like a page of stickers? maybe no There's a whole... that's my job wait no that's the the clear plastic piece. Yeah, and a sticker goes on it, but I don't have those stickers. No, it's. Does it have a thing to peel off of it? No. Gimme. You. I've been building Legos my whole life. Oh wait. Is that black sticker on the bottom of that page? No, it's number five, six, and seven. There's three more stickers that I should have somewhere. Um. But I'll look for them another time. No stickers. I, I'll I'll find it and you. Let can me put see it on. the sticker page. Okay. I was. Oh, this this is not a sticker. No. I mean, technically, this whole thing is a sticker. I guess. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. No 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 no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I knew what you were gonna do. I was just trying to beat you at your own game. <laughs> there. I wore my squadron leader shirt. All right. Because <laughs> I was building a... I, if I had a green leader shirt, I'd wear that. But. Uh, Ted comment, thank you so much for another super chat. You, you're... I mean, yes, thank you, but you haven't scrolled all the way back down. Oh, nope, I haven't. Well, but let's talk about Rail Averroes Thank somewhere. you anyways. <laughs> uh... Buh, 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 buh. So, I hope that Floof got to hear that and that the power didn't go out again. Oh, wait. This is another Ted comment. No, no, it wasn't. Well... Go, go find Adam's question again. That's where we were. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, but you that's not the one you were reading. No, it wasn't. Don't pretend. <laughs> Ted comment, thank you. <laughs> for another very generous super chat. Uh, I didn't like The Last of Us 2, but I also didn't like The Last of Us 1, so what do you? So what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> P.S. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy had an on-screen child death I forgot about. How'd that get past the censors? <laughs> Wait, Power... Power hold, Rangers. Hold on, we're bringing up Power Rangers movies? Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. I haven't watched Power Rangers since the Ivan Ooze movie, I don't think. Right, yeah, I don't even know what Lost Galaxy is. But that's tragic, and I don't know, kids today, man, they they get the rough stuff. 
I'll, I'm willing to talk about uh, the crimes of Grindelwald because I watched those for inner geekdom. Yeah. The, two two babies die in that movie. Two baby deaths. Not What's cool. up with that? Like, what weren't these movies fun at some <laughs> point? I, I seem to recall them being fun and full of magic and wonder. Harry Potter should just be about little little kids and their brooms and their their Quidditch ball and <laughs> and their spells. Yeah. Caleb Diaz, thank you for the super chat. Who's the big bigger treasure? Baby Yoda, Babu Frick, or Nine Nine? Oh, is that Nine Ninety Nine? The the clone? Yeah, I guess <laughs> that I was getting confused by that too. I mean, I know, I know your answer. I think Baby Yoda is probably my answer too. The biggest treasure of all. The biggest treasure of all. Look at him go. Look at how cute he is. He can wave. Boop, 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 boop. He's the best. Babu Frick is a close second, though. I hope we get more of him. Let me hold him right here. I don't think this fits that great. Well, it doesn't have the sticker. <laughs> like, did I do something else wrong? Oh boy. Uh, M, M Jallied, thank you for the super chat. It just says, oh wait, is it M J, M J, Allied? That's me. Or is it? That's what he said. Yeah. Or, or they. Uh, How would you say that? MJ Allied? M. Jallied? M. 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 <laughs> oh, that's me. That's that's you. Thank you for the super <laughs> chat. Maybe, huh. maybe they wanted a shout out. I don't know. What's up, M. Jallied? Um, I fixed it. Don't worry. G okay, good. I was worried. I was. Cameron Taylor, thank you for the super chat. Important question. There's a billion TV slash EU characters rumored to be <laughs> in The Mandalorian Season uh -huh. 2, but what about Cara Dune slash Grief Karga's roles? I hope they're substantial. I do too. Yes. I mean... Uh, like, yeah. That's my worry, is that they're going to start bringing in Ahsoka and bringing in too many people to focus on the characters that I already like and want to learn more about. Uh, we know that uh, Gina Carano is in Season 2, and I assume so is uh, Grief Karga. But yeah, I don't want them to get like left by the wayside. Yeah. I, I love Cara Dune. I hope she has a bigger role uh in season two and yeah all the rumors out there are just like they just spread like wildfire and it's it's overwhelming i'm just i'm just patiently waiting for a trailer that's it that's all i want and then maybe maybe if some of those rumored people are in season two Maybe don't put that in the trailer, and it'll be a big surprise for everyone. I wonder if that's going to change any of their marketing. If, mm. like, maybe they were trying to hide some of that stuff, and now it's like, well, everyone kind of knows, so maybe we just let it out. <clears throat> Charlie McKay, thank you for the super chat. Is there a difference between the Thrawn book and the comic? So the the first Thrawn book. Um, I would recommend you read the book. Uh, the comic, I think they did partly as a test before Thrawn Alliances came out. Like, let's see who would read a Thrawn comic. 
and then it was also kind of like a let's catch up before Thrawn alliances. So there, it's a fine summary. It's a good adaptation, but the book I liked more. I didn't read the first book. Did huh. I? Wait. No, we listened to it. We, we well, listened to it on during our drive. Yeah. Because it came out right before Celebration Orlando. Yes, that is true. I had already read it. But. Yeah. Um, Ricardo Franco, thank you for another super chat. What was y'all's favorite Hamilton song? I can't decide. I'm but... literally humming. I'm over what? here quietly well, hold, humming. I, he sa- They say... I can't decide between satisfied and nonstop. So I need to go back and re-listen to the soundtrack because obviously the whole thing is songs. And like, I don't know which one's my favorite, but I know which one is the one that we've been singing and humming the most. I'm literally over here quietly humming. Uh... Although I think my favorite is probably the What Did I Miss? The Thomas Jefferson song. What did I miss? I really liked Thomas Jefferson. I did too. Uh, yeah. That one was super fun. But You'll Be Back is You'll definitely be- the earworm that won't... It's been a week now. I've been humming it for a week straight. <laughs> yeah. And we only saw Hamilton the one time, which is when the day that it got released on Disney+. Plus. We did have tickets to see it live. COVID happened, that got canceled, boo. Well, it got pushed. Maybe we'll see it live one day, but... Yeah, but not from the original cast, so that yeah. that was a treat. Um, but I think, yeah, You'll Be Back is the one that gets stuck in our head the most. <clears throat> How many... Oh, we have a whole other bag? There's two more bags after this one. Oh my gosh. We might not finish this today. <laughs> oh, what did I mess this up? Also, I'm just off my game. I'm, like, making just, mistakes left and right. Yeah. Alex forgot how to build Lego. Well, we stopped for a month. <laughs> so, Chad Stilson said, I love watching Alex have a tough time building the A-Wing. <laughs> I do, too. Well, I, like, I like watching him have a tough time doing anything. I Like, I have this automatic response when I don't immediately find the piece that I need. Like, I'll look, I'll sift a little bit, and then I'll just go, like, <laughs> I can't stop myself from doing it. Stop. I, yeah, I'm humming it. Okay? I heard you hum it. <laughs> he is humming it. He's not even paying attention to... to... I'm just waiting for you to ask me another question. I... There... Uh, let's see. <laughs> I got all out of order again. Let me scroll up. da 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 this is now so I'll just threaten to do that I'll this, just sing this is now Star Wars Explained Karaoke I need to figure out what that karaoke thing is that uh, Janine oh yeah was like using like an online karaoke thing yeah where you, you can, can like that with friends instead of since we can't go to actual karaoke yeah I do feel fortunate that was one of the last things we did before everything got shut down and it was apparent that like oh we shouldn't do that anymore (laughs) we did that we we went to a wedding that wasn't a huge wedding and you know we well i was gonna say we social distance but we definitely didn't we it it was still like early enough that we were like and sang and danced and it was fun uh (laughs) but yeah those were like the couple of things that we did before like lockdown happened yep. and technically the state is open right now but no it's locked down i mean it is you're technically yes but we're locked that, down. that's what i was gonna say like technically things are open but it's <laughs> yep 
it's like worse than it's ever been right now and everyone well not everyone the the government is just pretending like it's not i guess i don't know things are bad in the south with covid <laughs> right now so we're very lucky to be working from home and not have to leave and go anywhere except for the grocery store <laughs> Uh, Ricardo Franco, thank you again for another super chat. Somebody dressed as Baby Yoda as Hamilton on TikTok and has, <laughs> oh, and has it sing songs. It was perfect. <gasps> oh. Well, there's your favorite new account. Well, is it? Didn't TikTok get shut down? What happened with that? Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't TikTok bad? Are we? Are we? Is TikTok canceled? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know enough about TikTok. To... I, I don't either. Like. The only TikTok videos I see are the ones that, like, get reposted on Twitter. I have the app, I think, but it's just so overwhelming to open it and see a bajillion videos. But... We're old! <laughs> That's what that means. You know that, right? What? We open up a new app and we're just like, what? Is, what is this? I'm overwhelmed. I don't even want to deal with it. That's what my parents do when they open up anything. But it's it's better to just wait and see which videos get reposted somewhere else that we're already watching because then we see the good stuff and Yeah, but if we were young we'd see the good stuff earlier because we know where the good <laughs> stuff comes from. Just like Reddit. Is there a TikTok Reddit? <laughs> and then I Probably, but you're still like missing out at the source. I have the app. Yeah, but you don't know how to use it. You're you just said you were overwhelmed by it. That's that's my point. Did I? No, I deleted it. I think I saw one thing about it being bad or getting canceled or something, and I just deleted it. I was like, good, I don't have to worry about not getting notifications <laughs> from this app. <laughs> You're just using that as an excuse. No, it's... Okay, so Ted comment. Thank you for another super chat. I live in Chicago. It's bad in, in the North, too. Delete TikTok. It's farming your info. That's that's what I okay. read. It was... I don't know. The, the, the government's always watching. <laughs> Especially through TikTok, apparently. So get rid of it, guys. Just put your funny videos on... After, after you watch that Baby Yoda one. <laughs> yeah, watch that one. Yeah, and don't then... act like you're not going to go re-download it just to find that. And then, then you'll delete it. I don't have to. I can Google <laughs> TikTok Baby Yoda Hamilton songs. Just like when Gary from Parks and Rec, he doesn't go type in websites. He goes to Yahoo and then... I like that you called him Gary. Well, that's his name. I know. <laughs> I, I said I liked that you called him that. <laughs> Like deep cut. Deep cut. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how TikTok is farming info, but I wouldn't be surprised if all the apps that we use and love farm yeah. info. Okay, how are you feeling? Because we have two more bags, but like. Um, it's about our dinner time. Okay. Man, every time I'm like, today's the day we're going to finish this. But we did two bags today. We have two bags left. Next week, we got it. Yeah. And it's coming along. Yeah. It just needs, like... We've been going for about an hour and a half. I think we just need to make the stands and the cannons. I mean, it's definitely looking more like an A-wing now. If you want to hold it up. Da, 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 da. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot I was using the stickers as my bookmark, but we still have this. Oh, we got... Uh, yeah, let's obviously not... One more super chat. Immediately leave. Uh, Mike... How do, how do you say Gib. it? Gib. Gib. Uh... Thank you for the super chat. Is Clone Wars Volume One and Two considered canon? Uh, no. What is that? It's the like the OG two D animated one. Oh, the the one that came out right before Revenge of the Sith. 
Tarkovsky. Tartarkovsky. I, I always struggle saying his name. Tar- tar- Tartarkovsky. Tartar- Tartarkovsky. <laughs> or is it Tarta? I don't know. Uh, no. But certain elements of it have been made canon. So, like, the Battle of Hypori was mentioned in Star Wars uh, Catalyst, the James Lucino Rogue One novel. Mm-hmm. So, well, like, I don't think that's enough to make Shaggy... The, the Jedi based off of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. I don't mm-hmm. think it's enough to make him canon, <laughs> but that battle was. So, I yeah. don't know. He's kind of canon adjacent. Sounds good. Um, and then Decaf Coffee. I think they may have just joined, <laughs> which is unfortunate because I think we are uh, leaving soon, but Thank you for the super chat. Hi, guys. I've been enjoying, enjoying your channel for a couple of years now. What are your thoughts on the authors for... Oh, yeah, we didn't talk about this. For yeah. the Empire Strikes Back from a certain point of view book. P.S. I just found out my old... I just found my old CDs for some Episode 1 PC games. P.P.S. It's the Chinese government. <laughs> oh, the, no, the Chinese government is farming TikTok, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe. Um, first of all, the the episode one games. If you're talking about the like, the one where you play as Obi Wan at the start, and then you play as a bunch of people throughout. But that episode one PC game, I loved it. It's not good. I've tried to play it since. It's so bad. But <laughs> back in the day, I played it all the time. I love it. Yeah. Um, the authors, uh, I'm pretty excited. I don't know authors very well, but I... I I'm going to have to look the list back up. Delilah Dawson is on there. Um, Christy Golden. Love her. Uh, uh, Jason Fry. Alexander Freed, who... This this is fine for me to say. I Next week, uh, we're going to have an interview with Jason... Or Alexander Freed. Uh, I recorded it yesterday. Super nice guy, so much fun to talk to, especially, like, I love the Alphabet Squadron books, so I was thrilled that he took some time to speak with me. And now, like, the day after we recorded the interview, they announced all the authors, <laughs> and I was like, crap, he's on there. I would have asked him about that if I knew. Yeah. Um, let's see if I can find this list. Uh, Tom Engelberger... Sarwat Chatta. A lot of these are new, which again is also oh, are new to me. Amy Ratcliffe has Amy one. Amy Ratcliffe. Like, I'm excited about the new authors that I get to meet mm-hmm. through this. Uh, not not meet personally, but uh, S.A. Chakraborty. Chakraborty? Uh, Mike Chin, Adam Christopher, Katie Cook, Zoraida Cordova, Delilah Dawson, Tracy Dion, Seth Dickinson, Alexander Freed, Jason Fry, Christy Golden, M- Hank Green. Rob Hart, Lydia Kang, Michael Cog. Why do I know that name? I think I feel like he's written for Star Wars before, but I can't remember what. <laughs> uh, R. F. Quang, C. B. Lee, Mackenzie Lee, John Jackson Miller, very uh, storied Star Wars author. Mm-hmm. Michael Marisi. He usually does comics. I'm excited for him. Uh, I've been able to interview him as well he's currently doing the battle tales clone wars oh, yeah. star wars adventures comics also very nice uh but i'm excited to see him step into a novel here daniel jose older marco shiro amy ratcliffe beth revis lillian rivera kavan scott emily skrutsky karen strong annie tool Catherine m valente uh, Austin Walker, Martha Wells, Django Wexler, Kirsten White, Gary Witta, Brittany M. Williams, Charles Yu, and Jim Zub. So, yeah, that's a good mix of people, <laughs> of names that I know and names that I don't. And the ones that I know, I I like. Uh, Daniel Jose Older, I thought Last Shot was really good, uh, great. Adam Christopher is, he's about to write the Mandalorian novel mm-hmm. that we don't know anything about. Yep. Uh, yeah. Who do you think is writing the Veer story? Oh. Because that's going to mm. be the, the big bell of the ball. <laughs> for, for, for Veer's watch, at least. Yeah. So assuming there is one, which if if there's not, I don't know. Like, Veer's watch might quit Star Wars. <laughs> um, man, I don't know. It could be anyone. I'm going to go Christy Golden. 
uh, she she wrote like oh, Alexander Freed's really good too though like yeah. they both write military fiction quite a bit mm -hmm. so it, it would be I'll go one of those two yeah okay <laughs> Well, with that, um, it is 9.11 here p.m., uh, and we should go eat some dinner and not wake... Yeah, he's not, asleep now. And not wake up the dog. So we'll just uh, have to sneak, up, sneak, sneak <laughs> off camera. Yeah, thank you guys for hanging out and watching. Uh, next week, I'm just going to... We're going to sit down and finish this stream, finish this set next week. Okay. For no sure. matter what. We're doing it. Because we, we have so many other sets to build. We've That's got a core. We've got two helmets. Yeah. We've got lots to do. We have so much to do. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. And your super chats are amazing. They mean the world to us. Um, but yeah, we hope to get back on schedule with the live streams. So thanks and have a good night.